So Lou made a promise that he was done talking about AMC. He was done talking about Ape. You know, he's on to bigger and better things with the OTC pink sheet market, GTII, finger motion, blah, blah, blah. What was the other one? Um, RNVA, right? Yep. RNVA, Renova Health. And he's done with AMC. He doesn't want to talk about AMC anymore. He's talking more about AMC now, I think, than he ever did before. But he keeps making these crazy titles, like Life After AMC. Reminds me of the Biggie Smalls album, you know, Life After Death, you know? It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazines or salt and pepper, heavy D up in the limousine, hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, a rap attack of Mr. Magic Molly Mall, you know? <laughs> it's like, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm freaking out with this guy, Lou. So he comes up with all these crazy titles, you know, life, you know, after death or whatever, like life after AMC, AMC survivor live chat. <laughs> it's like, obviously, it's really funny, though. He wants to talk about AMC so bad, but he has to put these crazy titles to make it justifiable of why he's talking about AMC. So you're going to probably start seeing all these crazy t- like the AMC suicide hotline is going to be his next video. <laughs> Uncle Louie is there for everyone, you know. Have you been hurt by AMC? You know, like those lawyers, like 1-800-LAWYER. Do you need someone to represent you and your rights and to make you feel better and to fight for you? We'll call 1-800-UNCLE Lou. I mean, it's just like he's just going to keep doing this. It's all for views, obviously. I mean, we're not stupid. Look. I already proved it to you. All of his other videos are not getting that many views. Like, remember I made the video, I think it was like uh, yesterday, where I was saying how every time he makes a video that's un AMC related, it gets small views. It'll get 2,000. For Lou, it's small. 2,000 views. Three, like, I'll be happy with like those small views, but he gets 2,000 views on those videos. 3,000 views. He'll put out an AMC related video. He gets 20,000 views, 25,000 views. So, it's like he, it's like he's forced. It's like Sylvester Stallone with Rocky. Like, it's like he, believe me, he doesn't want to do any more Rocky movies. He, he, he doesn't, you know, at this point, the, the movie companies are stepping over Sylvester Stallone because Sylvester Stallone doesn't own the rights to Rocky. And they're making now all of these different, like, you know, character movies like Ivan Drago. They're going to make a movie just about Ivan Drago. Next, they're probably going to make a movie about Club Lang. But they're doing this without Sylvester Stallone's consent, you know, because he doesn't own the rights to Rocky. I don't know if you know that. You know what I mean? When he first signed the contract, he gave away all his rights. He just wanted to make the movie. That was his, his concern. I mean, I'm sure he regrets it. But anyway, hey, he did okay for himself, right? <laughs> Guy's worth a half a billion dollars. He's okay. But I'm just saying the same thing with Billy Joe with Piano Man. Like, oh, my God. You know, it's funny. People, like, would say to Billy Joe, you know, it's the coolest thing in the world where you make the audience sing Piano Man at the end of your shows. And Billy Joe's like, you know what? I'm so exhausted. I'm so tired. <laughs> from singing the whole concert. He goes, I look forward to them singing. You know, he goes, I just sit back and relax and I'll, I'll have a little drink, you know, whatever he's drinking. He's like, yeah, go, go, go have fun. Yeah. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight because Billy Joe is exhausted and he's very hungry because he didn't have a hamburger tonight. You know, singers, they can't eat when they're performing. He's starving up there, Billy Joe, when he's doing the show. He's thinking like, you know, you know, it's nine o'clock on a Saturday after the show is done. I want to get myself a vanilla milkshake and some French fries and a burger. Not well done. I like a juicy medium. I would think he does. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know how he likes his meat cooked. <laughs> but the point is that Billy Joel is forced to do Piano Man. Like, like he can't, he cannot do a show without doing Piano Man. That's it. Lou, it's like, I feel like he's stuck with AMC for the rest of his life. That's it. In order for him to keep making the ad revenue on YouTube that he's used to, he's got to keep talking about AMC. So this whole concept that he says, oh, I'm not talking about AMC anymore. It's a complete lie. Just like everything else in his life is a complete lie. It's all BS.